Okay, uh, today I have something kind of uh, different for you. Um, I was outside, uh, we were actually uh, just getting the yard ready for winter. Uh, so we're trying to get up a bunch of the leaves, uh, trying to get stuff picked out, kind of taken care of. We got most of the stuff done, like the patio table and all that taken care of. We're doing this like they're kind of trying to get the rest of it done today because it's starting to snow. Um, you know, you try and get it done before it gets all buried in a couple inches because up here, you know, it could snow a foot tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, anyway, while I was out in the garage, I thought I'd show you some of the work I've been doing out here. Uh, as you can see, it's changed a bit. I finally got some time to do some work out here. Um, so yeah, so I'll kind of go over just uh, maybe a bit of it. Here, let me get the stool out of the way. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun just kind of to show you uh, some of the things I'm working on. And Anyway, show you over here. So here I got the, like I said, some uh, tool board up finally. I got some like, uh, extra uh, crescent wrenches or uh, adjustable wrenches, uh, including a good diamond one there. See, I got some just some uh, cheap clamps, uh, some of my hammers and stuff. You can see I got all the uh, trusty cook dead blows, uh, some of my other ones. Kind of just like a little bit of everything out here. And, uh, try in here. I'm gonna show you. Everything's pretty much Craftsman or Vaughn or Gravik, which is Vaughn. It's just kind of like this seconds label. And pretty much every hammer is made in the USA. Uh, I got some measuring tapes here, some cheap ones. I uh, used to use this one at my old job, so I'm kind of used to it. And then I got one of these uh, Sidewinder guys, which if you haven't seen, it lays flat and the tape pulls out. So, again, you can kind of just lay it on the table and just kind of have the tape out. It's actually kind of handy. Like I said, I never would have guessed that that tape measure would be so useful, but I like it quite a lot. And then I got just another cheapie up there. Then I got a big uh, Lufkin measuring tape, uh, some pliers. Uh, these are all Craftsman wrenches uh, here, all six point, uh, if you can see. I do actually like using six point in my daily kind of wrenches. Um, I don't know why, I just have always liked them, I always use them. So I got a nice uh, Craftsman set here, SAE metric. And then I got um, some of these Crowfoot's I got on clearance from a Menards, uh, it's all USA. Don't really use them much, but no, it's kind of like, I think they kind of look cool up here and you know, handy if you ever do need them. Along with that ginormous plum wrench I got. Uh, I did a video on that guy. Uh, big Craftsman uh, adjustable. These are some of just the older tools I picked up. Some things I like, kind of the looks of. Uh, I see a little snap-on socket thing with, remember, I think I got just some, oh, some old Craftsman, extra Craftsman sockets in there for right now. Let me go ahead and, uh, I got some other things, just some other tools, you know, some random tools I picked up, old Craftsman uh, socket, some Truth, I got a Truth uh, ratchet, um, I got SK speeder, I think this is a Truth um, T-handle, you can see the X-Lite net drivers, which I did an old video on, and some of these other, just some random like little, um, like old uh, uh, hex drive sets I got. I kind of like them, they're kind of fun. And so this one, I'm missing a couple pieces I'm looking for, and I got some of these extra ones. Uh, you see like an old oil filler cap, my Enders thing, my favorite uh, industrial wrench. I love that logo. Yeah, I'll show you this guy. Uh, this is a Stevens, what was it, Walden? Uh, yeah, so Stevens Walden Worcester. That guy, you can see it's just a little Again, this is a little socket set, a little T-handle here. Again, this is all hex drive. So you can see, oops, do that. It's all hex. Doing this all freehand, so you gotta excuse me, I'm not the best uh, camera operator ever. So yeah, I picked that guy up, that was kind of cool. So, like I said, kind of like, just like a more display thing, but I like uh, all these old hex sets. And then this, uh, the Craftsman box here. Which I uh, showed you enough in the video. It's got most of the uh, Craftsman uh, V series, so it's kind of my uh, go-to when I just need something real quick. Um, see sockets, ratchets, you know, speeder in there too. So, like I said, just kind of a fun little thing. Got my uh, Bluetooth uh, old phone player here. So you can see it's uh, this old phone. That was my uh, buddy Luke. He was in a band. I used to take a lot of pictures of him. So kind of show off Luke there. And then uh, got this uh, little. It's kind of like a gunsmithing device. 
Uh, I just pulled this thing out of storage. Uh, got it here. Oh, there it is. Was it Whistler Western? I think. I can't get that. Yeah. Whistler Western. San Francisco, California. Kind of a fun little uh, vice. Of course, the uh, ubiquitous Harbor Freight gloves. Uh, some of the other things here. Uh, you can see those Exolite screwdrivers, some old oil cans. I just had this one, which I love. It's going to. Reminds me of a Dalek from Doctor Who. Um, picked up some of these guys uh, recently. Uh, Wolverine. Um, just like little sets. Let me see if I can't get this guy open. There we go. You see like cotter pins. Um, cotter pin assortment. So, kind of well, again, I like the boxes. I like the, uh, they look pretty cool. And, you know, Wolverine being in Michigan, though. You can see like screws in this guy. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I got an old logging uh, mark, um, sludge thing. Uh, we got over here my little heater, just a cheap portable one. That's uh, kind of help keep things warm in the winter. Uh, some bookends, dust mask things. Uh, this you might remember, the old uh, Craftsman or uh, Waterloo box. It's full of uh, kind of just like odds and ends right now. Um, in here, got some old. Uh, I think these are diamond uh, just shears, uh, some manual scrap things, tire gauges, the usual. And then, uh, whoops. We got, in odds and ends, we got uh, some stuff for Coleman lanterns, some extra like little screwdrivers and picks and stuff. Um, all bits, chisels, uh, nail sets, all that kind of stuff in there. Then all the hex wrenches. This, uh, some nut drivers and my uh, vice grips are locking pliers, including these ones. My Bowman grip, which are, again, are still some of my favorites. We got uh, Craftsman for professional screwdrivers and pick sets. And then this one's just a few uh, extra hammers. We got just some spare ones down there. Oops, we got my little thing of screws. Here, I drop my glove. And let's pick up these new gloves, which Buckaroos, uh, made in USA. Uh, I just like these uh, kind of like deer pigskin ones. These are my ones I use uh, normally. As you can say, they've gotten some use on them, and figure it's time to get some new ones. And I try and buy made in USA when I can find them. Uh, the old uh, carpenter's box, things like that. And oops, got my uh, my mighty uh, parts cabinet. That's full of random stuff right now. We got uh, the bird seed buckets up here. Uh, it's like peanuts and um, uh, corn, and then we got regular seed on this one. Got to keep the Tweety Birds happy. Uh, I'll show you this too. This is uh, just the pry bar sets. Uh, then more of my regular toolbox. It's still a bit messy, so you're going to have to excuse me on this one. Uh, these are all Craftsman uh, stubby wrenches. These are all, I said, made in USA. And I got SAE and Metric, a pretty complete set. Uh, dual uh, ratcheting, uh, reversible ratcheting. I got these on clearance a while ago. I actually really like these. These are ones I use quite a lot of. They're all like a, kind of like a shorter pattern, but I think made in Taiwan. But really, quite nice. Oh, can I show you this too? Because um, um, I got some of these in here. Uh, these are um, uh, just dehumidifiers. Um, these are ones you can plug into the wall and all the moisture leaks out of them, so it's like, kind of like reusable. So when they get wet, as you can see here, it's, this one's currently dry. But when they get wet, you just plug it in, and 24 hours later, it's back to dry. And I keep a lot of these desiccant packets in these too, to try and help keep, again, the, the, the moisture and stuff down. Uh, pliers, uh, mostly a Knipex. Uh, Blackhawk. Um, got a few other ones, Craftsman. Uh, these are uh, the Japanese ones, which I cannot remember. I think IPS was those. Um, yeah, pretty much all Kinebex or Craftsman. A uh, few uh, flare nut wrenches, things. Let's see, I think I gotta, gotta clean some of these up. And then here we got impact sockets, uh, stuff like that. Some of these uh, reach bit sets and stuff I picked up. Uh, it's just still kind of getting arranged. Um, like I said, I'm kind of, I haven't really had a lot of time to do some of this stuff, so I'm still kind of working on it. Uh, socket sets, as you can see, none of this stuff is complete, uh, but I've got a fair number here. A lot of it's Martin. Um, 
you see I, I kind of pick up Martin tools when I can. I like them and I got a lot of them on pretty good sales. So you see right there, Martin. These are all made in USA. So it's a, it's a 15 sixteenths. Um, just supposedly, I think they said Wright makes most of these. So um, I got most of the ratchets are inside. I'm kind of sorting it through because I got, like I said, the Eastco ones. Um, and then I got, I think, uh, is it right over here, I think this is KD. And then I have uh, some of these uh, Roto uh, head ratchets I picked up on clearance. This is a Husky and I got a Cobalt one. And then uh, what else we got here? I got one of these uh, Zero um, uh, like Allen ones. So it's, you know, there's no uh, clicks or head. It's you know, a zero uh, degree ratchet. Just got it for fun. I got some of these uh, just extensions and bits and sprinter handles and got my quarter inch Craftsman Professional ratchet and I got all the other ones too those are all packed away still um, just a couple other little random ratchets and in here got all my big wrenches uh, only tool rolls right now I had them in these I just didn't really like it and I like these holders they don't really fit well as you can see like on these SK ones like they don't really fit these are just cheap cheapy plastics I picked up from Harbor Freaks I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it and obviously this was not the way I wanted to do it so I need to rework on that one but nice like so that's kind of a quickie like a toolbox tour and i'll show you the rest of the garage here we got all the yard tools lawnmower manual lawnmower uh other toolboxes and things got bikes and the old rackets uh, shop vac all the hoses which actually is kind of nice one of the things we did here is we got all these i uh, got some pegboard we put the hoses up and all of these um, velcro like straps so it keeps everything together, keeps them nice. We got, you know, the hose heads, the, you know, extra gaskets, things, and the wheelbarrow and all of that. So I said, it's coming along. I'll show you these two. I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, Chevrolet uh, keychain here. These old, uh, like, boating keys, which I thought were pretty sweet. So with it, Star, Starfire, I think it says. Yeah, I got those like in an estate sale. But yeah, so uh, this is pretty much it for right now. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's getting there. Oh, I got uh, one of these uh, LED lights, like a 5,000 uh, uh, lumen one. Uh, I got it from like Walmart for like 20 bucks. I think it's similar to the one they have at Harbor Freight, and I think Menard says a very similar one as well. But uh, yeah, just uh, our uh, little... Uh, uh, garden bucket here, which we got. Uh, oh, I'll show you these guys. I haven't, I didn't see these, but these are uh, steel um, pruners, but they're made in uh, Japan and got them for like 20 bucks at the East Hardware. And pretty nice, we just used them today. So, anyway, like I said I didn't know they made um, stuff like that, especially in Japan, so I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, so it's uh, this is the garage. This is kind of uh, I said this is the ever go ongoing project that someday I will complete. But as you can see, it's getting better. I have at least in my lovely vintage tools, which I love to look at. I have my regular tools, which I love to use, and uh, I have more hammers than probably most people should ever need in their entire lifetime. But again, as you can see, stuff does get used. Um, I try and use everything because you know what's the point of having tools if you're not using them. So. Anyway, just kind of thought while I was out here, it'd be kind of fun uh, just to kind of show you everything and show you the, the tools and the collections and how I installed this fancy sliding cabinet for all the um, paints and things, which again, I'm probably going to need to put in the house now because it's starting to snow and get cold. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that is the, the garage update and a quickie kind of toolbox tour. So. Anyway, I know this is a long one, so I'll, I'll stop it now. Quit my rambling. All right. Thanks. Bye.